She fell into homelessness because of an abusive relationship. Now, a Seattle woman has directed the pain from that experience into her passion. Nikki Gain Butler created a company called Dignity for Divas, a nonprofit organization right here in Western Washington. It uses self care to help other unsheltered women see their worth and get their lives on track. Cairo 7's L. Thomas takes us inside the brand new facility here in Seattle, giving women the tools they need to build a better future. Under highways, over sidewalks, and empty storefronts on nearly every street. The homelessness crisis in Seattle is there. You're just out in the open and you don't have anyone to protect you. That fear can overpower movement. But on the corner of Dexter and Thomas, a brick warehouse serves as a beacon of hope. Inside, a dream academy awaits. Hello, Hello. come on in. The words dignity for divas sparkle across purple walls. And Nikki Gain Butler, Divas founder and executive director, sits ready to serve. Dignity for me is the number one. That you cannot serve without serving up some dignity with it. Having been on the other side of the tent, she designed this space with the needs of other women experiencing homelessness in mind. But this isn't your average shelter or soup kitchen. I always say, you know, they're the cake, we're the icing. Here, it's all about self-care, starting with a pinch of positivity. So you'll come on in here. Then a lot of luxury. Everything here is always to the highest level. When we serve the ladies, it's like we're serving queens. When you feel like you matter, you're gonna change how you move. Up first, a coffee spot, lounge, and wellness room. Then, the rest. Half a dozen different stations. Over here is our job readiness workshop class area. Each one featuring custom tailored affirmations and swag bags. It's kind of like you're spoiling them from yes. the second they walk in the door. Yes, I'm spoiling them because they need, they need that love. This space is for resume building and job training. Over here, computer classes are taught by Microsoft and local college professors. So it's about removing barriers. The more things you move out of the way, the more they can continue on their journey of success. So that's what we want to do here. A journey that continues from the mouse to the mat. Now, one of the coolest classes that I love is our beauty and makeup workshops. There's even a space for a cosmetics class. Take a look at this. Free product included. That's how much stuff is in here. Yes, it's wonderful. <laughs> so everything is about feeling good, feeling worthy, feeling powerful, feeling like you matter. And finally upstairs. This was the room that I dreamt about when I was sleeping outside. So come on in. Oh, this is so cool. A meditation space just for them. And the ladies come in and they sit down and they, they're free. Coming into a space like this, if you've been outside, this is a space of hope. This is how you turn your life around. Each space serving as a tool to empower women to do just that. We're providing hope. We're providing a paddle, a piece of wood, whatever we can to help you down <laughs> the stream so you won't drown. And you'll start to learn to swim. And that's what we're doing and it's working. When you look out on the streets of Seattle right now, you see tent cities, you see a lot of people that are experiencing homelessness. What else do you see? I see possibilities. And I just know that all they need is a dose of hope. That's it. L. Thomas, Cairo 7 News. Every month, Dignity for Divas passes out 1,500 survival kits to people on the street. They also provide quarterly care packages to women who are transitioning into housing. Plus, they give out special pamper kits to women who stay in housing for six months.